Why hasn't the perfect power amplifier been built? This question comes from Andres in Comox, British Columbia, out there in Canada way. After all these years with thousands of companies designing and building power amplifiers and electronic components being what they are, resistors, capacitors, etc., why has no perfect reference amplifier design been achieved? It seems that there is such a singular purpose component that there must be a design that works best. You'd think so, wouldn't you? And yet, there's not. And we might ask the same question, why haven't they come up with the perfect car, the perfect chair? I mean, we could say a car, well, because, you know, that, that, is it an SUV? Is it a, is it a sports car? And, you know, all that. But a chair? How about a chair? I mean, what's the perfect chair? After all, chairs are made for sitting, right? You, you know, how long have we been designing chairs? And still, we don't have the perfect chair. The problem is that even though a power amplifier seems simple, I mean, you put a signal in, you get a bigger signal out, and you power the loudspeakers. How much simpler can it get for that? Well, how that happens is the first problem that we have. Amplifier technology comes in so many different flavors the ability to convert a small signal into a large signal that has the ability to drive the motor of a speaker is handled in any number of different ways. There are tube amplifiers, there are digital amplifiers, solid state amplifiers, there are, oh gosh, um, there was even once a mechanical amplifier that um, used a motor, um, uh, the rotary subwoofer. Uh, the rotary subwoofer uses, you know, a motor to make sound and, and an amplifier to power that motor, um, which is very different than an amplifier powering a woofer. So the tasks are varied. The technologies to do it are varied. There is never just a straight situation. So, here's another example. What kind of speakers are you going to use? If you have a little weenie speaker, or you have a giant speaker, or you have a tough to drive speaker, or you have an easy speaker, or you have an electrostat, or you have a planar, or you have any number of speakers, each one of those has a different requirement in what makes it sound good being driven. Some speakers are inductive, meaning that their impedance changes with frequency rather dramatically. Uh, and then, then they can also kick back energy. I mean, there's all kinds of things with inductive speakers. There are speakers that are purely resistive, and so one kind of amplifier would be perfect for them, while not so good for a highly reactive speaker, and vice versa. So as long as there's not going to be any commonality in the speakers that amplifiers drive, then there's not a lot of chance you're going to get commonality in how we drive them, since the tasks are very different. Over the years, I would say that we have narrowed the field down to where today most modern amplifiers are all of a certain quality of sound that would have been almost unthinkable years ago. So. We have narrowed it down. I mean, God, years ago, like when my father put his sound system together when I was a, a, a young rat, I remember the amplifiers that he had. Boy, they were, you know, some of them were pretty good. Some of them were horrible. Um, some of them had single tubes coming out of them and they had no bass. Others had no top end. I mean, we're talking seriously deficient amplifiers. And, you know, the art was trying to cobble something together just to get reasonable sound. Well, today, you can go to almost anywhere and buy $20, $30 amplifiers that would blow the socks 
off of an old amplifier back then. So we've narrowed the field down. Amplifiers in general are far better than they ever were. But are they perfect? I don't know that that word has any meaning. I don't think it exists. Okay. I hope that helps your, your understanding. Uh, and, but we'd be trying, boss. We're going we're gonna to try and make an amplifier that works perfect on every single speaker. Just never got there yet. All right. Shameless plug. Did I earn it? I wrote this book for you. 99% true. Go to Amazon, please. Type in 99% true. Get the audio book or get the print book if you're still into reading like me. And there's a whole bunch of history here on amplifiers, but mostly this book reads like a novel and it's something just, it, people who pick, have picked this up, I'm, I'm really honored to say, have told me I cannot put the book down. Every time I finish a chapter, I have to go to the next one. I mean, it's, it's, it's again, it's written like a novel. So I, I leave you with some cliffhangers, and then we go on to the next one, and we seem to resolve it, and then all oh, hell breaks loose. <laughs> it's, it's fun. Thanks. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.